Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Valorant keeps crashing mid-game. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So we all know, if you're play, play, uh, playing Valorant here and it crashes immediately mid-game, it can be kind of frustrating. So how do we fix this issue? So the issue itself is caused by the performance of your PC. Sometimes it, uh, if some uh, process or applications are consumes a lot of memory, then Valorant might be affected to that. So what we need to do first is that we need to make sure that we close Valorant and we need to open up our task manager. So to access task manager, you could just go ahead and click on or just type in in the type search at the bottom left here, just type in the uh, task manager. Now in this case, there's also a shortcut that you could use which is control shift escape. Now from here, as you can see, this is the full UI for Task Manager. Go ahead and click on the More Details section. Now in this case, you should be able to see different information about different apps. So that includes the Google Chrome and applications that you're currently using. So in this case, close any apps that is actually consuming a lot of memory. Like for example, browsers that you have open, or if you have like ben Blender open, or any other games that is currently open, make sure to close that and focus solely on Valorant. Now, in this case, there's also a way to filter out what's consuming a lot of memory. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on memory here. As you can see, Google Chrome is consuming a lot. So make sure to cho uh, choose or close any applications that you're not using and is co consuming a lot of memory. Now, this will actually help you a lot and uh, the options or the issues where Valorant crashes mid-game should now be fixed. Now, another way for you to ensure that no problem should, uh, would arise while playing Valorant is to make sure that your PC or your Windows is fully updated. So at the bottom left here, go ahead and just type in update. And from here, click on check for updates. Now from here, make sure that you're using the latest one. So let's, uh, what you need to do is make sure to check for any updates and click on install now for you to start the installation process so that you have the most updated version of your PC. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.